Thor, the God of Thunder. Yeah, today we're here with a, another Marvel movie review. Um, a movie right before the first Avengers movie. Looking at Thor uh, and this God. I don't know how they introduced this God into the Avengers universe. But um, the son of Odin, Odin's son. <laughs> Thor, Odin's son. And brother of Loki. Uh, those are probably the only gods that are really in this movie. I kind of watched it a couple of days ago. So I'm going off of bleak memory here. But overall, this movie was fun. It is a Thor movie. Um, i trying to think of some of the things I didn't like. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I should explain the story first. Duh. Um, Thor is, you know, a god of Asgard. And they protect... Or Midgard, I forget. But uh, they're, they're soldiers, in a sense. Not soldiers, but they're warriors. And um, they're at peace right now with the Frost Giants. But Thor, for some weird reason, doesn't like that. He's a bit more of a warrior. Uh, things kind of get to him. And he does some shit and basically sorts, you know, this is the very first beginning of the movie. He ends up kind of getting banished and sent to Earth. Which I think leads to some so, so actually funny scenes. Uh, some fish out of water type scenes. Captain Marvel tried to do it and I see why Captain Marvel wasn't as good. Even though it's almost kind of like a similar movie to me. Um, because Thor's uh, shit when he's on Earth and like doesn't is not used to Earth things. He's just destroying shit, beating doctors up for trying to help him. Uh, he has a cup of coffee and throws it down. I ha I would have another. You know, he's he's actually uh, kind of funny. Some funny scenes there. Um, he gets a little love interest. A lot of people like the love interest. I didn't really buy it, and I know it's gonna come up throughout because just the way they ended it. She's probably even going to be in the fucking Avengers movie. <laughs> but, um, like, yeah, I, I, didn't, I don't know. Just being a god and all, falling in love with a, a human being, I don't know. It was weird to me. I guess that's what gods do on uh, most things. Another thing I didn't like is, um, Odin was kind of supposedly, uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but th things just kind of happen. Um, at one point, Thor was, you know, he's banished, and... And, oh yeah, his father throws his hammer, uh, kind of throws throws it to earth and sticks it into a piece of the land. And, like, nobody can lift it up. Obviously, it's one of those get the hammer out of the rock thing. Thor can't even pick it up. I thought Thor was going to learn some brilliant lesson to get that hammer out of that fucking rock. No. No, he doesn't. He doesn't learn shit. He gets his ass kicked. And then his, his basically his dad cries and he gets his hammer back. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. He didn't learn some big lesson. He didn't even ask for his father's help or anything he just he just kind of was getting his ass kicked and before he died his dad had mercy um but the action scenes in general are cool Thor spinning around his hammer is awesome um Chris Hemsworth as Thor is pretty dope uh what I'm trying to think what else I didn't like the dude who plays Loki I forget his name I should really know his name because he is dope probably the best villain I've seen in phase one um Heimdall, I felt like Heimdall is in this, which is the Bifrost character. You know, they, they show the, the god area, and it is it is quite magnificent. I think it's Asgard or Midgard, I forget. But, um, and Heimdall is the, tr the gate kind of guy, gatekeeper from Earth and uh, Asgard and all the realms, actually. And I f he was really cool, but I felt was a bit underused um, at some point. At some points, um,. But yeah, I, I can't think of too much else about this movie. It it kind of underwhelmed me. It wasn't too great. Uh, even though it had all these exciting characters in it and everything. It just kind of... Things happened. I did like the play between Loki being the villain and Thor's his brother. So it's like... It's hard to want to kill your brother. But Loki's pretty evil. <laughs> uh, as time goes on. As we know. And... It's pretty interesting. Uh, to see, It's going to be interesting to how Thor shows up in the Avengers they kind of hinted towards Loki being the Avengers villain I haven't seen these movies ever this is my first time so I'm guessing uh this is all gonna be this is kind of like literally part one and then part two is gonna be the Avengers movie so I'm looking forward to it I'm gonna give this movie a 7 out of 10 thought it was a lot of fun I, I can't think of all the things I didn't like about it but I can't think of all the things I didn't love about it it was just kind of one of those movies you know so 7 out of 10 thank you guys so much for watching like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next review.